Oh, what's up, guys? So I'm trying to get fired up basically off this almost like three quarters uh, decaf Americano or whatever the hell you want to call it. I have a little bit of normal coffee in it. I just don't want to get all jittery and amped up at night if I have to sleep in a little bit. Not a little bit, but you know, I just don't want to be too amped up at night when I'm trying to sleep. But anyways, I want to make this video basically on getting fired up for the gym and the state of mind that you're in when you go to the gym. I believe it's very important, at least for me, um, you know, because there has been in the last two years or so, or two and a half years, I don't remember exactly. Uh, I've had some situations in my life where basically I was trying to come off of like very long-term use of basically antidepressants and um, benzodiazepines. Okay, I was taking some of the stuff since I was a kid and basically trying to come off it. It's like ugh, my body was so used to it that coming off it like messed up my nervous system or my hormones or even my drive and determination. And, um, you know, I drank heavy alcohol for, like, you know, probably 10 years. And sometimes I was even training when I was drinking like a fifth of vodka or more a day. Okay. It's pretty ridiculous, but I was so determined. And yeah, I've had a couple setbacks in the last couple of years, you know, got back on the drugs or the alcohol and it's just been very hard for me to get motivated, but I set out for my goal and my goal was to be free of that stuff. And most of the stuff I've been free for. Um, the alcohol, eight, around eight months, and the benzodiazepines, eight months, and the antidepressants and the other stuff, I don't exactly know how long, but I'm completely free of it at this moment. And the reason I want to talk about this getting fired up step business is because last night I had basically a really bad night. Okay, I couldn't sleep. I was waking up in panic, and I've kind of become accustomed to that, but it is getting better just from you know, taking sleeping pills in the past and not really knowing how to sleep without taking these drugs that I've taken for so long. But the point I want to make is I went to the gym today, kind of my spirits were crushed a little bit. I wasn't really that fired up and it just can take a toll on your strength. Like if you're depressed, you're like, you can feel it in your joints. And I went for a 300, 300 pound bench press and, um, you know, I had tried it a couple days ago and I pretty much almost got it a couple days ago. And so I decided to take a day off so I could try it today. And it was like I was weaker, okay? And I believe it's because I wasn't that fired up, okay? And there's a guy named um, Eric Bugenhagen that always talks about it's a, mind, uh, it's a mindset. And like, you know, sometimes he'll fail a lift but then get re-fired up and then he'll be able to get the lift. And I believe that to be true. But I, I mean, I'm a really big fan of him and I've watched a ton of his videos, but I don't know if he really says how to do it, okay? And, um, you know, some for some people, it's not as simple as just turning on some heavy metal uh, music and, uh, you know, getting fired up, okay? Like, the mind and body sometimes always want to basically be lazy and tell you that, oh, maybe I should take this day off, or oh, maybe I shouldn't do that many sets or whatnot, but if you're... And there is a time and a place for days off and rest. But if you're anything like me and you want to be actually great, like, or you're just so determined to get basically strong that you can't even like resist the urge to take days off because I'm, you know, sometimes it's just like, you know, I'm so fired up. Sometimes you have to like imply other techniques, like, Maybe start doing a lift that can get you fired up to get stronger. So then when you're in the gym, then you can go do some other lifts maybe and you're and you're more amped up or whatever. I mean, even the, basically for me, it's firing me up so much that I keep basically failing a 300 pound bench press. That's like almost embarrassing for me because, you know, I previously had bench pressed 350 pounds. Okay, I was like a lot heavier, but the fact of the matter is, is you know, I don't know. And maybe a lot of people think that, you know, my way of training might be a little bit extreme, but, um, maybe that's the reason why I went from basically a 315 bench press to a 350 bench press in a couple of months, because I was by doing what, you know, going up and fall or going, trying different techniques that a lot of people might think are just crazy or overtraining. And, um, sometimes it's hard to get fired up. And so you might have to start talking to yourself and basically, you know, saying like, okay, like I will do this or, you know, or whatever. Cause that little voice in your head, at least for me, is always trying to make me be lazy and do less work. It's like, oh, if I can just do this many sets, well, maybe that's why I'm not getting stronger. Maybe I need to do more sets and reps. And I keep buying into sometimes, <laughs> buying into these people 
that talk about like you know doing all these basically like low percentage and of your max stuff and I don't know maybe that works for some people but and maybe I don't even have the patience to even try that but for me I need a little bit more stimulus I believe and going a little bit more balls to the walls sometimes and so I think what basically my point is sometimes you have to basically find ways to fire yourself up. Maybe find a lift that you really like. Maybe turn on some inspirational music. Maybe start talking to yourself and saying, I will do this and I will become great and I will become strong and I will not give up because, you know, I want to be great at this. I don't want to be some basically average lifter. And I don't like saying that about, you know, just at least for myself, okay? I want to be very good at what I'm doing. Maybe that mentality gets me into trouble sometimes, but maybe it can be a benefit. I don't really know, but I just want to talk about basically getting fired up because obviously sometimes the state of mind that you're in when you go to the gym can affect how much weight you can lift, okay? I mean, think about the stories of people like they get, you know, a mom like gets in a car crash and she gets like superhuman powers and lifts the car up because... She's so fired up, you know, or whatever, gets that emotion to lift the weight. And so, you know, I don't know, there is some techniques, but sometimes you might even not be fired up and you might just have to push through a shitty workout. I don't know. The point is, is I basically had a, did basically failed a 300 pound bench press today and basically went home and was all, you know, pitiful and feeling sorry for myself. But I'm going to go back tonight again and try it. I don't care if I fail again. And I'm going to keep pressing and, and get a good workout in because I am, like, basically scared to be, like, not good at lifting. Because it's one of the only – it's not even just about lifting. It's about making progress every day. And, you know, maybe some for some people, lifting more weight – helps their mind state and then it makes them feel better about their body and then their their well-being is better and then you know other aspects of their life start coming together so it's not even about lifting you can use it as like a life metaphor or whatnot of getting through it so I kind of went on a rant but basically I just want to talk about the importance at least for me of getting fired up at the gym and sometimes it might just not be there but like I said before, the more you, I believe, the more I can push through it and other, and other people can push through it. And this might not be for everybody. Some people might just like going to the gym and kind of just getting their pump on and being, you know, okay with whatever numbers they're at or, you know, being okay with increasing a, a weight on one of their lifts by five pounds each year. But I'm trying to do that each day, okay? <laughs> so anyways, let me know if you guys like the video and subscribe for more content. Thanks.